we've had to fill it slightly higher, uh, but it's still recovering plenty of heat. Yeah. And what we've found since then is as soon as you light the fire, the, the room is warm, and we're probably using about half as much wood. Really? Or coal, is yeah. that much? Is yeah, it's, it's, it's a massive amount because you, you know straight away you don't need a lot of heat in there. That's the thing. You've got a big stove, so then that you can fuel it less, yeah. can't you? Because you're heating the flue. Yeah. yeah. We've come to see Richard's barn conversion in the foggy Lincolnshire flats. So, tell us about it, Richard. Um, so it was recommended to me by a friend, uh, and we, we put the log burner in as a sort of supplementary heat to the house. We've got underfloor heating throughout, um, but obviously with electricity prices being so expensive, right. we found that if we put the, the stove on, it just gives us that much more heat. Right, right. Uh, but very aware that we was losing a lot of heat up the chimney. Right. And someone recommended this. I had a look online, uh, all the ones straight away, and got it fitted. Um, now, because of the design of our stove, we've had to fit it slightly higher, uh, but it's still recovering plenty of heat. Yeah. And what we've found since then is as soon as you light the fire, the, the room's warm, and we're probably using about half as much wood. Really? Or coal, yeah. Is that much? Is yeah, it's, it's, it's a massive amount because you, you know straight away, you don't need a lot of heat in there. That's the thing, you've got a big stove, so then that you can fuel it less, yeah. can't you? Because you're heating the flue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what we've done is we put the, the pumps outside, because it was quite a buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then it's just sat on the timer comes on sort of four or five in the evening and then it stays on to about four in the morning so we can sort of load the fire up before we go to bed. Oh nice. It still pumps the heat out and then when you wake up in the morning it's, it's still nice and warm. Oh fantastic. So what sort of heat, what sort of space is it heating? It's, um, it's, it's basically heating, I mean it does get down as far as the bedrooms but generally we find, I mean I've got mine flowing that way because we find this bit because it's new build yeah. and it's a, a level ceiling is always warmer. Right. Uh, but it sort of pushes the heat down there towards the utility room um, and tend to spend most of that time in here anyway, yeah. you know, rather than the main lounge. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's a lovely big space. So it does keep this all warm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic, yeah, it's isn't brilliant. it? I mean, our, the, our, the heat pump, we had a few teething problems, and it packed up uh -huh. in a really cold spell in December. Right. Um, so, you know, it was like minus four or whatever. So the only thing we had to fall back on was this. So oh, it, brilliant. It was, working overtime, <laughs> it was working overtime to keep us warm. Yeah. <laughs> That Absolutely. is fantastic. Uh, but we were still able to get up. We was up to about 20 in here. We was able to get the sort of heat pushed through to the bedrooms up to about 17, 18, even right. without any other heat. In right, right. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, because you've got, yeah, obviously you've got top-notch insulation. So it's, 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 it's well it's, insulated, but it's yeah. a big space and yeah, there's lots of airflow through. Yeah, it's really well insulated, but because you've got a slightly higher ceilings, you lose a bit and your skylights, you know, every, every bit of glass is, is heat loss, isn't right. it? We're all yeah. triple glazed. Um, but yeah, you do find once it pumps into the room, Oh, that's it's lovely. lovely and, and you've done something, you've done something clever with the air inlet pipe. I have, yes. When I first put it on and I sort of came in from outside, it was it was really quite loud. Right. Uh, so I thought, how can we reduce it? And, so that, what, and that's the hissing from the turbine. That's the hissing from the turbine. Yeah. 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 Um, so what we've done is um, the silicon pipe goes into 15 mil uh, plumbing pipe. Right. And then it comes up the back. It also helps to keep it rigid rather than having a sort of flexible. Yeah, yeah. And you can't see it. No, no it's exactly. It's spoiling the look of a really. No, and then from the from the, the the 15 mil pipe, it just goes into your last bit of heat proof silicon pipe, yeah. uh, or whatever that is, uh, and into there. And I've got a little valve on it as well, so I can adjust it if we don't want it too loud. So you can you just turn the flow down. <laughs> yeah, just turn the flow down. But just by having that increased volume of pipe, it just, it just gives you a little bit. bit. Yeah, 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 it's much better. How long? How far away is the pump? So the pump's literally the other side of this wall. So did you shorten the pipe? Yeah, um, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I uh, yeah, yeah. Pipe, yeah. Okay, that would yeah, make I'll it. I've still left some spare if we ever want to move it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I've had yeah. to shorten the pipe. Uh, so again, you've got less volume to be pushed through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that a is. Longer pipe. I need to say that actually, that, that because the, the pipe does act as a bit of a sound suppressor, if you uh -huh. cut it, the noise is louder. Gotcha. So, so, um, so, so you can just coil it. it it's uh -huh. better just to coil it for the, for the spare so right. then you, you keep the same. Um, it wasn't something I particularly noticed except that. Um, We've tested the pipe out to like uh, 30 meters, right? And you, you don't need very much. The, the silencer is pretty uh -huh. much redundant to that because it, it obviously it just absorbs the sound. Of course it but, does. Um, but yeah. cutting it does make quite a difference. Yeah. That, that going from you know, the three meters of the soft tubing up to you know, down does make a bit of difference. Right. Oh, so you're sense. you're making that difference by changing the yeah, by just changing the diameter. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The diameter the pipe. Yeah. yeah. It's That's been, really clever. Really good. And turning it down is great. Yeah, you can turn it down <laughs> as well, yeah. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's brilliant. What a lovely job. It's yeah. a lovely place. Yeah, really pleased with it. And yeah. yeah. No, well, thank you very much, mate. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I'll really be recommending it to everyone I know who's got a lot yeah, of yeah. I was like, you need to get one of these. Well, it's in, definitely. I mean, it's it's so flat here, it gets bloody cold, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah, yeah, when it's cold, it's cold. So that's perfect. Yeah. Do you yeah. use it to um, 
dry clothes. Uh, every now and then, yeah, we put the, yeah, I've got an air, I've moved it out of the way, but we sometimes put the air here as well. Yeah, 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 yeah no, yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, um, the chap was saying yesterday, they use it instead of the tumble dry. Right, yeah. it, Because it's flowing air, it's, uh, it, 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 it dries, dries it out. Faster, yeah. yeah, we'll often put the air here and then put some blows on it. That's great. Yeah. 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 Trying to save much. a bit of electricity. Well, yes, <laughs> I mean, massive amounts, isn't it, yeah, when yeah. you're doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, mate. Absolutely. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Cheers, Richard. Cheers, thanks. <laughs>